Hello, I'm Tina Baker from the Factory Gym. I'm here to show you how to do step aerobics. So what you need is a, give that woman a coconut, a step, but it doesn't have to be one of these. You could do it in the stairs at home, a garden step, anything else. Now, step aerobics gives you a fantastic high intensity, but low impact all over body workout if you do it right. However, if you've got dodgy knees, dodgy back, if you're pregnant, you need to get it checked out. Having said that, I've had people in my classes who have been doing step aerobics pretty full on a week before giving birth. Basic step is your basic thing. So your step, if you've never done it before, keep it low, keep it easy. Um, you always warm up on the step. Let's say I have already your basic step, foot on, foot off, up, up, down, down, heel, toe, whole foot on, not just the ball of the foot. Tummy in, shoulders back, so your basic postural position. Tap, change. Now that looks easy. In the old days, woo, it used to be a bit faster. Chassis mambo, up the stair, around the world. Don't panic. You can do classes like that if you want. Most classes are for all levels. If you see the word intermediate step, that might be more choreography, a bit more dancing. So let's say we've warmed up some of the moves that you might do. Knee raises, great. Anytime you're on one leg, your core muscles, back, tummy are going to be pulled in. You're working balance. So knee raises, the tip, get the legs first, then add the arms. So you might want to do any sort of arms. The higher the arms, the more aerobic workout you're going to get. You're going to be burning more calories, working the heart and lungs a bit more. Classes like this that are very simple moves, I sometimes use light weight for the upper arms. I might also, on the basic step, get ladies and gentlemen to carry heavy weights like two heavy bags of shopping. Another move where you can really work the outside of the bottoms, your little leg raises to the side. Now this is a move you don't really do very often in real life, Can't, don't see many people like this in the supermarket, but it's a fantastic exercise, you can make it even bigger, woo! Now you're working pretty much all the body, shoulders, arms, backs, tummies, bums, legs, thighs, inner and outer. Oh, now change that. Now stretching as well as I'm working. So they're all individual moves which you can do with the arms, make it simpler without the arms. The other thing you get a lot of step is repeaters. Don't worry if you don't know your right from your left, the teacher usually shows you. So that means that side of your step, whether he or she's facing you, have got the back to you. So repeater, three, two, one. So you're now doing three knee raises rather than a single. You might add the arms. Three knee raises. On some of the moves, you might do different arms. So three leg raises to the side. It's a bit fast to get your arms up, 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 up. And three heels to the bum. Now, depending on the beat of the movement, you might do these slower or faster. You will usually get some sort of easier version. So you might want to combine those three together. So do a knee, side, curl, down, down, knee, side. Imagine all of this to the music. Again, you could do the legs without the arms until you're confident of the leg moves. If it goes horribly wrong, so the rest of the class are doing turns and everything, you can come back to this basic step. And that's just walking up and down. Classic mistakes. Herd of elephants. You're light as a feather. You're drawing up as if you've got a string from the crown of your head. You might, rather than doing a basic step, do a V step. You might add a little bit of movement and that's pretty much all the basic steps. When you start coming over the top of the steps and doing some of the moves like round the world, that is more into intermediate step. You can also use a step at the end of the class for part of your cool down and even for things like press ups, planks, you can have weights and you can do squats as well. Some of those moves are just toning depending on how you do them. 
they can be aerobic as well. So sadly, there don't seem to be as many step classes available on timetables anymore, but then you don't need a class really, do you? If you've got stairs, if you walk up and down the stairs at the two, perhaps not do a whole routine, but it's still step aerobics, uh, garden step, uh, anything like that. It's a great full body workout. Do check it out if you've got any knee problems, back problems, any pregnancy that you're unsure of. Um, start easy, always do your warm up first. Uh, keep it low impact, I'd say, before you add any jumps or turns or any weights or anything like that. I love it, I'd encourage you to give it a go. And that's how you do step aerobics.